In this morning's Dairy Today report, manganese deficiency is suspected of calf fetus deformities by researchers in Minnesota. Now scientists believe a 75 cent supplement could solve the problem. This comes from the Minnesota Veterinary Diagnostic Lab. They say 75 cents worth of manganese supplement per cow per gestation appears to correct the deficiency in dairy and beef cows. New research shows dairy cows need two to three times more manganese than previously thought. Also, corn-based feed is lower in the mineral than grass or mixed haylage, which is important as more operations move rations in that direction. Research has also failed to prove any link between glyphosate-tolerant corn or soybeans and manganese deficiency. As dairy producers work to recover from financial disasters in 2008 and 2009, when milk prices hit 30-year lows, recovery continues to be an uphill battle. Some dairymen believe without a major overhaul of government policy, rock-bottom prices could return. The National Milk Producers Federation has a plan that includes a market stabilization program. Ag Day's Michelle Rook has details from the recent national conference in Nebraska. Despite some disagreements on how to fix dairy policy, there's growing consensus a revamp is needed to avoid another financial crisis like 2009. There's been too many changes in our domestic market and also in our, in our world market that we need to readjust that because really prices of commodities have gone up worldwide so that that's needs to be changed. Among the problems is the support price for milk is too low to be an adequate safety net for dairy producers. We need to move away from the price support and the milk income loss contract program and instead utilize that money for some type of a gross margin program. That margin protection program is part of the National Milk Producers Federation Foundation for the Future program. Which would be a true safety net that we could go to, go to our bankers and our, our lenders and say, look, this, this is the worst case scenario. Right now we've got a system where I can't tell you what the worst case scenario is because it's so outdated. Dairymen say one of the biggest changes they need in terms of dairy policy is to decrease the amount of volatility in the market. And I think that's really the goal is how, how can we better manage that volatility in the future with some type of program or some type of a standby program that's, that's available. National Milk's program also addresses that concern. If we can have this margin protection to where my, my margin on my farm, I can protect the downside, we're not just looking at uh, volatility on commodity prices, but volatility on margin. The other dairy policy change that is garnering less consensus, at least with processors, is reform of the federal milk marketing orders. Which become a regional issue because they support farmers in one region maybe more than they support farmers in other regions. However, Mooney says the issue goes much deeper because they would like to do away with all classifications of milk, I believe, and just have one class of milk ultimately. And dairy farmers, we can't go there. There's also some disagreement about the supply management portion of the program, which would trigger a mild production cap only if supplies started becoming burdensome to price. It would protect us from having a 2% surplus that would drive our prices down by 30% or 40 percent like they did in 09. It's not a quota system like we think of of the Canadians dictating exactly much, how much each producer would, uh, would produce. If the industry can't come together on these issues, it's unlikely federal dairy policy will move in 2011. The Congress has been fairly clear, the leadership there, that if only if everyone agrees that this is the right avenue. And unfortunately, there's still dissension in the dairy industry. In that event, it will become part of the 2012 Farm Bill. The key will be making sure the plan doesn't stress the budget. I think we'll be budget neutral, and I think there'll be some savings when we're done. I'm Michelle Work reporting for Ag Day. Thanks, Michelle, and don't forget for the very latest news affecting the dairy industry, including production and policy issues, check out dairytoday.com.